Michael Francesi. So just for the audience to know, the, the way I found out about Gene is that Vlad TV interviewed uh, Gene's partner. So Gene has a show with uh, John, is his name Aliti or Alight? Alight, you could say John Alight. Yeah. John Alight. So he has a wonderful YouTube show called the John and Gene Show or the Gene and John Show. John and, and Gene. Yeah, and uh, it's a great discussion. And I, I came across you through Vlad originally, and I was just shocked. I'd never seen anyone your age from the mafia, and I was like, this is really interesting to find out about. But anyway, the guy who first came on Vlad's show was actually Michael Francesi, who right. was, or Francis, who was, uh, you could tell the audience more about him. You have an interesting view about him, and I just, I know you've talked about it before, but I just like want to hear it. I'm not trying to say I was the biggest, baddest guy in the street, but I was really out there. A guy like him, he, what I call him is a privileged gangster. He's like a John Gotti Jr. He's like a, um, just a guy that's born into the life and doesn't really have to earn his bones. So for a guy like him, that if his father wasn't a legendary mobster, he probably would never be a criminal. That's all I was saying. You know, I'm just trying to bring out because he tells these stories. You know, I know so many people that know that case. You know, he wasn't making no eight, ten million dollars a week. He's just yeah. trying to make himself bigger than what he is. You know, he was a captain acting cap over Jean, you know, the, the he's praying, uh, all that stuff. But um, his he father was a killer, though. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's hands down. His father, but that has nothing to do with him. Yeah. Just because his father's a killer don't make him anything. You know, my, my uncle was a serial killer. That don't mean that I'm a serial killer. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I made my own name. My uncle Andy killed more, way more people than his father. But I'm just saying, my uncle Andy used to go on suicide missions and kill people in broad daylight for Albert Anastasia. So it's just like, you know, it's, it's like, it don't matter what your family member did, it's what you did. So I try to tell him he made money. That's great. But he didn't make 40 million a month. He, I just said, I don't like that. He tells these people these stories. He tries to tell people he didn't cooperate when he did cooperate. And, you know, I just, that's the only thing that bothered me. That's all it was. I hate, I hear his, his stories and it's bullshit. That's all it is. And I just say how it is. Wait, uh, so you said a couple of interesting things. There. One thing is that he always says, my brother cooperated. He was a drug addict. He turned on my father and it was horrible. I never did anything like that. And so did he. He yes, just think he cooperated as well. He's like, no, I just, I just talked to the FBI. Oh, right, right, right. What is that? In our, world, no, in our world, if you sit with the feds in any way, shape, or form, and negotiating, you're considered a rat. And it's also at that sense. He was a, a, a acting captain for his father. So at the end of the time, he was a rank. You know, people were under him. So that's even bigger embarrassment. So he don't want to admit that. But if he, but but he lives in in California. He's way out there. He's never in New York. People, people always call him a rat all over the areas, you know, so it's like he could tell the public what he wants because they don't know nothing. I'm telling you, I'm involved. I'm, I was with people. He's considered a rat. He was labeled a rat and he testified and got people in jail. Oh, so he testified? He testified against, uh, um, I got to get his name. I had it. I just forgot it. I had it on a paper. He actually testified. The way he presents it is like he did nothing. He just walked away from the life and became religious. That's bullshit. You can't okay. do that. That's fake. You know what I mean? You, you, that's a lie. You walk away as a cooperator, dead, or in jail for life. That's the only way you walk away. There's no such thing as say, hey, listen, calm on the snake. Yeah, I'm going to retire now, okay? My time's up. I'm going to go to Cali and write books. Are you kidding me? Was he working for Karma on the Snake? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. that's a violent guy with a legendary. Right. And the, guy, the guy probably ordered more murders than any boss ever. So it's like, you know, it's it, like I said, me, my whole thing is I keep it real. Everyone always tells me, Gene, you're genuine. You tell how it is. You know, I never boost myself. I tell it what it was. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I had a rocket ship and I, I, you know, I was making 80 million a year like he is. The guy probably made three, four million a year, five million a year. He, he had a hell of a week, I thought. No. No. Are you kidding me? Nobody made that kind of money. Nobody. He was worth half a billion dollars. Yeah. Nobody. It's insane. <laughs> it's impossible. Like, I, like, don't get me wrong. He had a helicopter. Anybody could have a helicopter if you have a couple of hundred thousand. My boss is worth $30 million. He could have three helicopters. That don't mean you're a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? It's just like people people are taking the images wrong and, and making it bigger than what they are. You know, they said he was in Goodfellas. Nobody played as him in Goodfellas. I keep telling people this. <laughs> Nobody played as him in Goodfellas. They keep telling it. It's not him. Stop. The movie's based on the 70s. The kid, stop. <laughs> it just stop with this shit. Sorry, that was, that was funny. I just like to call people on their bullshit. And you can call me out of mind. I don't lie. I just tell her how it is. This is what I did. This is what I made. You know, I'm not going to fabricate myself. And he likes to bullshit and tell people lies.